Oh, hey everyone. Yeah. Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today. Uh, not, not today. Tonight, along with... He is a mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. <laughs> and welcome back to Owlboy. And uh, yeah, since the main menu music just doesn't loop after <laughs> certain parts, I decided I might as well jump in and well, there's no music here either. So uh, yeah. Let's see, yep, yeah. in Owlboy, we play as Otis here, and last time, uh, well, we got lured away from guard duty, and a bunch of pirates, well, they didn't really sack our, uh, our village, but they did attack it, and then ran off with something. Yeah, uh, okay, now that, yeah, it's gauntlets. Yeah, or at least something to protect his hands. Okay, uh, I looked it up just now. Uh, yeah, the game is just plain ass locked to 1280 by 720 resolution when windowed, but I should be able to make it, I should be able to run it at a higher resolution <clears throat> uh, with a program called Borderless, Borderless Gaming, uh, which, well, if I, if I recall correctly, is, a, is similar to DX Window. And yeah, I tried DX Window, it didn't work with that. <clears throat> Anyways, Getty, let's see. Hey, over there. It's a control room, but... All this machinery. It looks like it's been broken for decades. But then, shouldn't the temple be closed off? The professor said that his machine was blowing the islands apart. Could he have been wrong? We have to hurry up. We have to hurry up, guys. If we can't use this machine to slow the pirates down, they'll have a clear path to Advent. We might already be too late. Let's go. We probably should not have spent a night at a campsite nearby. And yeah, we've got Getty here, who is our simple pistol gunner. And then we have Alphonse, who will pack the heavy artillery. Okay. <laughs> Something I bet Hillian wants to buy for himself. I can't really tell if there's much of a difference in speeds when we're carrying one of them. It doesn't look like it to me. And hello. Okay, some birds. Hmm. I just hit on a bit of an idea that I could try with streams sometime. That instead of looking at the game, I look at OBS. To especially with cases where a game is ha is forced into a smaller resolution like this. But then I'll I'll have to move the monitor or not the, the screens of the game and OBS around to have OBS on my main monitor right in front here and the game on the left. It might, that might have some complications in case the game runs a bit slower on OBS for some reason or another. Uh, but yeah, with forced re with, with forced resolution games, that could be pretty useful. I don't think it'd work for uh, if I kept both of them on the same screen because OBS doesn't like that when screen sharing. Yeah, and something's gonna happen. What's going on here? Where is everyone? Alas, it has come to this. Alphonse? Listen, you two. I need to hide for now. You cannot be seen with me here. When the time comes, summon we were to teleporter, Otis. I must be off. Poof. What's he thinking? Let's go, Otis. We've got to check if uh, yeah, ACO and the professor made it in time. Uh, yeah, we we basically were on a fool's errand, it seems. And uh, yeah, now the, now the pirates are attacking Advent, and since Alphonse is a, well, until recently former, yeah, uh, is a re recent non-pirate, it's best he's not seen with us, yeah. Otis, don't just stand there, get inside. It's literally raining shells. <laughs> Hurry, you fool. 
you'd say fly, you fool, but we're not the best flyer. I actually was planning, I was actually thinking about putting that in the title. <laughs> Move it. <laughs> hey. Lay off Otis. Be quiet, Getty. You're both to blame for this. What? What for? You idiots. You were supposed to shut down the Owl Temple. Did you think we sent you out to have fun? Oh, I wish I could have sent someone competent instead. Hey, now! There was nothing to shut down. The control room was broken. The Owl Temple has been shut down for years. The wind machine was never active? Don't be ridiculous. We're all familiar with you and Otis's slackery. Your actions are inexcusable, Otis. You bring shame to owls everywhere. Oh, shut up, you. If it was so important, then you should have sent someone else. Like any of the jackasses on the side there. And most of all, you bring shame upon me. Now you do that enough by being an asshole. It is quite literally in your name. Ass. This is quite enough, ass, yo. Rather than blowing up, yeah, blow up on this child, you should yeah, get to work defending Advent. Strix, will you stop this silliness? Absolutely, Colonel. Hey, so we don't have you know, time for this. As a fellow owl, you should know better. The entirety of Captain Molson's fleet is raining down fire upon Advent. My students and I plan to carry supplies to the turret gunners and do repairs. It will be dangerous, but it's the least we can do. Is there no way to strike back at the pirates? I'm afraid not. Our only recourse is our turrets. The pirate dreadnoughts are too heavily fortified to assault with our own ships. We can only hope that our turret fire will ward them off. Okay, Fib, let's get let's go help the turret gunners. You and your students should do the same, Asio. If you can. Solus? You keep guard here. Shouldn't we evacuate? No. We have to hold Advent. Stay here. Yes. I'm off to help, too. I don't think that book is going to stop a shell on your head, Professor. Otis? You have caused enough harm. You will stay in here. I will lock the door behind me as I go to help the others. You are not fit to help the others protect the city. Cornell, Solus, please see, it that, uh, see to it that these two do not uh, do anything stupid while I'm away. Uh. That's stuck up, old fool. Don't look so down, laddie. If you made a mistake, you'll make it right in time. Take Asio and the Professor, for instance. They've made plenty of mistakes. The only reason they're able to act all high and mighty now is because they worked hard to set those mistakes right. Listen, lady. We didn't do anything wrong. We defeated the giant mechanical frog guardian to get to the control room. And when we got there, it was already broken. Like we said, the machinery wasn't on in the first place. Really? Yes. It's very interesting. It's been thought that, that the old, yeah, it's been thought that the Owl Temple was responsible for the islands drifting apart from each other. If the temple isn't causing it, then I wonder what is. I'll have to look into this matter. Okay, that's that's better wording than blown apart, like was said earlier. Uh, that made it sound a lot more destructive. Ah, where are my manners? My name is Cornell. I research biology and teach children at the school. And I make rockets and bombs for fun. <laughs> um, pleased to meet you, Cornell. I'm Gaddy and this is Otis. We're best buds. I tend to speak for him since he's a mute. Well, pleased to meet you both. Okay, at least she's pleasant. It seems like the general and her do not like, uh... Asio? What was it? Asio? Yeah, Asio about. Yeah, also, I think they say name you pronounce wrong. Yeah, okay, uh, Arda. I, I think you pronounce Munashi. I think they, like, 
I, I forgot it's supposed to be French or Spanish. Hmm. We'll like, have uh, to see. Uh, wait, that would be more Italian. Hello, Solus. Oh, dear. Hey. I'm sure you don't want to talk right now, but... I want you to know that I believe in you. You don't seem like the type to lie, Otis. Hmm. I guess we've both... <laughs> Pardon? Hmm. I guess we've both been dumped in here. I hope it's all, it, this all blows over. Hmm. Let's see, can we even get out here? Doesn't look it. And the door is locked. Um hmm. I think there is one thing we can do. <laughs> ah, Master Otis. How perfect that you have summoned me. Quickly, we cannot waste time. I must speak with you. All of you, in fact. Okay, they're reacting rather well to a sudden pirate. <laughs> we must stop the attack on the city at once. How are we supposed to do that? We've been locked in here. And there's nothing that we can do against the pirate fleet. You must know that. Nothing we can do? Master Getty, I do not share your pessimistic outlook. I know precisely how to stop them. Hey, you're a pirate, aren't you? Do you perhaps have some information that could help us? Of course, we need to stop the dreadnoughts. Stopping the Dreadnought could stop the entire fleet. It's a massive ship, but it's got one weakness. We can sneak in through the bomb chutes and set up an explosive charge. Kaboom! And the Advent Warping would be safe. That sounds very dangerous. Otis, Gideon, and myself are noblemen. We do not care for trifles such as danger. <laughs> says to... Says to whatever you are. Madame Cornell, might I ask you for the keys out of this building? I don't know. Do I have any reason to trust you? I... I trust them. Oh, isn't Giddy our great guys? They wouldn't lie. Give these two brave souls a chance to show their worth. Here's a key. If anyone asks us, we didn't see you go. Good luck out there. Let's go, little one. And there we go. <laughs> Shotgun what? pirate in tow. What is he supposed to be? I think that gets revealed later on. All right, soldiers. It's going to be tough out there, but we have to succeed. Sneak in with him. Are you all ready? Let's move out and save the city. Nobody noticed someone short jumping in the group. I guess that's a positive about being uh, overlooked. You literally get overlooked. Well, that did not go as planned. Man, that was close, guys. This invasion is massive. This battle does not bode well for your capital at all. We will have to try uh, uh, to make our way through the siege lines and make a difference. Well, we can't just charge through. You must try not to be seen. If these pirates see you, they will hunt you relentlessly. Most pirates are near indestructible. So please be careful. I'll help out as much as I can, Otis, but I don't think my pistol will help much here. Yep. We've got another stealth bit going. Oh dear. And also, we got to know that this is called the Advent Settlement. Hmm? I didn't know settlements could be capitals. 
You know, every capital starts as a settlement. Well, that uh, I know. Luckily, we can hide behind these boxes. Are these pirates mechanical? There is at the absolute certain heavily armored. For pirates. Yeah, there we go. Fly. And hello. Okay. I don't remember this game having much in secrets or anything like that. Yep. Okay, we can trigger these early to blow everything up. Let's... Still, the, the just the pixel art is really high quality, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Yep. <laughs> well, that's lucky. <laughs> uh, get fucked. <laughs> this is really just beyond the line. Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh bloody heck! <laughs> ooh, ooh, okay, somehow I didn't get damaged, but... Uh... Hey! Who's in there? It, is it safe? Yep, uh, hello. Oh man, am I glad to see friendly faces. There's pirates everywhere. No, we're safe. Hello. Bah. Pirate! <laughs> we're all gonna die. Oh man, oh jeez. Sweet maker, show mercy, help. Mommy, <laughs> my kids, my family. Oh, oh wait, I don't have a family still. Spare me, oh man. Oh, <laughs> Uh, hello, Shadow Preach, and thank you for the follow. <laughs> thank you for the follow! <laughs> hey, listen. He just keeps going. He's one of us. He's helping us find a way to stop the pirates. Yeah, I hope you're having a nap. hope you're having a good day, Shadow Preach. <laughs> Keep your wits about you, friend. I'm indeed here to assist you. Really? <laughs> well, you do see more gallant than those ruth other ruthless invaders. Yep. His, knee his knees are shaking so hard you could shake paint with those. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll trust you. Okay, listen. Our demolition squad was captured further up in the, in the pirate base. We can't proceed beyond the pirates' bar uh, pirates barricades unless we uh, save them. You guys might be able to get up there real quick. The squad consists of Anne and Bonanza. Uh, Bonanza. Bonanza. Yeah, Bonanza. Freedom. I, uh... I'll just prepare to fight. Over by these bushes. Good luck out there. <laughs> now he's probably got to clean some bricks out of his pants from seeing Alphonse. Uh, yeah, every character in this game is just such a character, huh? <laughs> That's one way to put it. Yeah. There we go, just had to hit the last one. Again, somehow I did not get hit. <laughs> okay, Getty, you wait here. And yeah, when they say the pirates will kill you or will hunt you down relentlessly, they do mean it, I think. 
I think if they spot you, you are forced into combat with them. And there, there's a bunch running in the background. And I think they are pretty hard to kill. Hmm. Nice. Oop. Weapon production. Ha. Huh. Bomb squad. Okay, job assignments. Hmm. Weapon production. Hmm. Bomb squads. Okay. Yeah, there is a hell of a lot of these attack squads. It kind of makes me feel. Kind of make fe makes things feel a bit like uh, Abe's Odyssey. Yeah, since well, you have to be stealthy and not get your ass kicked in that. Hmm. Maybe they took some inspiration from them. Probably. But there's nothing wrong with taking inspiration from uh, great games. Yeah. As long as it's done respectfully. Hmm. And up we go. Psst. How did you get ahead of us? We need to get rid of this barricade to get out. If you free yeah, my subordinates, we can blow it up. They're right up ahead, so... I'll just wait here while you set them free. That's right. I'll be right here waiting for you. So go free my subordinates. It's get out of its pants, but still can order people around. That's obviously one of them. And of course they put them on their heavy guards. Okay, sometimes the game takes a moment to react to pulling out the wings. Or this, this the wingsuit. Cloak. Yeah, it was a cloak. Yep. Well, that can't be any good. Okay, okay who gave the turrets caffeine? Or, or better yet, who caffeinated the cannons? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> mm, that's blocked. Oh, yeah, what I was going for a little... Hmm? Captain the cannons? What? Yeah, I was going for a bit of alliteration with that. K... Yeah, K... And caffeine... And caffeinated... And cannon... Uh, oh... Oh, uh, okay, I see it. These gates close behind you, and then another opens. Okay, we're not going to be able to get past that. Hmm. Mm. Nope. I'll take a battlefield snack. These pirates must be pretty hard of hearing if they can't hear these, you know, wing foot clap. I don't forget, there's a lot of bombardment going on. True. Ah, there's one. Yeah. Give me a sec. There we go. I can't walk very well. My my leg's broken. Well, thanks mm. yeah, for, thanks for helping me. We need your help to bust open some barricades further down. Oh, it is maybe you can carry her to safety. Master Getty, that's a great idea. Carry me. What if he drops me? Otis would never do such a thing. Flash back to when we threw Getty into a wall multiple times. You did. <laughs> Is that right, Mr. Master Getty? Of course. 
Come now, let's get you out of here. Um, Alright. If you want to get into the hangar, you should treat my partner as well. She's a bit further in. I'm going to put my fate in you and let you carry me let me up, let you carry me around. Please don't drop me. If you drop me, I'm going to break your legs. How did for she lost her leg, they realize, oh that's her cane, not her peg leg. Yeah. Whack? Nothing to see here, just a leg sticking out of a bush. <laughs> okay, we do a little charge and whack them with the... Uh, hmm. Can we... We can knock them out. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Even with the classic stars. Okay. Uh, can't do anything there. Uh, hmm, that's also blocked, though. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. We can't set you down, okay. There we go. Okay, I'm pretty sure we wouldn't have been able to do that with any of the others, since the bombs only drop a little bit. When they shoot them. Okay, can we... Yes, we can. Okay. Ew. Send those back. Okay, good. Up. Ow. Okay. That's door. Up. Hey! Oh, there's the other one. That's Bonanza. Let's get her out of there. Okay. Huh? Oh, excuse me. I was just taking a little nap. Down. And an owl? Well then, it looks like our backup finally arrived. Thank you for helping, younglings. Are you alright, lady? Hi. now that I'm out of that cage, I can finally stretch my old bones. Give me a second here. <laughs> okay, Iron Granny. <laughs> Actually, scratch that. Titanium. <laughs> ah. Yep. That feels good. There might just be a little use in these old joints yet. Might you be able to assist us through the barricades? Assist you? <laughs> Why, that's the reason we're here, son. Follow my lead, young ones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Granny got moves. These pirates sure got this place locked down tight, huh? Move aside, children. Bonanza will take care of this. Yeah! <laughs> she just... Yeah, she just spin attacks the door down. Wow! No time for gawking, guys. Go on ahead. I'll catch up you with, with you at the barricades. Take care of my aunt, will you? Thank you, ma'am. We will. <laughs> Okay, if, if we were to drop Anne, Anne would break our legs. Uh, but I'm pretty sure Granny would just nuke us. <laughs> and everything in the surrounding area. Yeah. Okay, that's still blocked. Okay. I'm guessing when the, this one sees it, it'll just pop out a few bombs as well. Oh. Okay. Yep. Ow. okay, at least these don't raise an alarm or anything and are easy enough to dispatch. 
Okay. Uh, hello? Yep. Uh oh. Yep. Okay, those deal a lot of damage. Luckily, ew, luckily our counter attack is quite wide, so we can get rid of most of them. Yep, and just blow out the fuck the freaking wall. Uh, hold on, isn't this on the other side of the door? Okay. Meanwhile, Granny is just. <laughs> He's just waiting for us. <laughs> okay, I was going to say going through the place like a wrecking ball. All right. You ready, Bonanza? Born ready, young one. All right, here we go. Okay, guys, say farewell to this barricade. Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I, you may have been a little bit close, Granny. Done. Phew, you've done good, Bonanza. All right, guys. Guys? <laughs> oh, just laid another egg, it seems. And even Alphonse is, uh, afraid. Guys, uh, are you alright? Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're cool. That's good. We're gonna try and get out of here. I can't be of much more use with my leg broken. And it's a, a bit more than broken, it looks, from all the blood coming out. Like, for it to soak through the bandages, that's a lot. Anyway, thanks for helping us. At the end of this, I hope to see you guys again. Alright, be careful out there, younglings. Watch out for them sinister tin cans now. Thanks a lot for the help. I'm going to take Anne back to safety. Then it'll be here time to look at for a squad leader. I wonder where he went. I didn't say thank you. I really appreciate that you helped me out. You should come visit my home in Anvin when this battle's over. Okay. <laughs> He's probably hiding in a cardboard box somewhere, getting kicked by the, <laughs> the robots. Ooh. Uh. That was rude. Oh, uh, hello. Can we help you? Yeah, that's a gyrocopter. Okay, Yeti's shots just bounce off. That does out hurt it. I can't tell if the shotgun hurts it. It, yeah, it's definitely not... Never mind if it's not happy with us or not, it's gone. Nope, or at least it's going. Okay. That motherfucker! <laughs> it just threw a bunch of bombs in, our, in Otis's face as it went. Dude. At least there's a good amount of fruit here. And there's more of those things. Yeah. Better to not get caught by these, huh? It's 
easy to look up again what's the difference between a gyrocopter and a helicopter. I think gyrocopters work... Uh, I think gyrocopters work by having two blades go in different directions. Whereas a helicopter has blade, uh, has one set of blades that goes in one direction with a stabilizing uh, fan or blade at the back. Okay, that explains why the heck the Dwarven Gyrocopters in Warhammer have two blades over them. Yeah. Hmm. So, this one doesn't, I think. No, they have back of it. It doesn't look like it. Okay, shooting those does nothing. Ow. Maybe tackling them? Or I, I, or I just try to roll through. Emphasis on try. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that there was no way to uh, dodge that thing. Hello. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we, that was needed. Uh, let's see. Wait here for a sec, Getty. Or, never mind. Ah. More, more snacks. Okay. And there we go. Okay, time to get up here. I'm still curious what Owl Boy is based on. For... Is it based on an old owl or a cat owl? Yep, yep. I'm, I'm pretty sure each of the. Damn it. Okay, now it was our turn to get smacked into a wall. I think each. Uh, they're each based of different owls. I think Otis might be a horned owl with the big. Uh... Yeah, what... Eyebrows? Yeah. Yeah, but what can I think of that as well? Ew. Holy, what the? Okay, this thing has a miss, has a seeking missile launcher. I was to say, for only owls I know that have those kind of Big eyebrows. Brows? Nope. Would be uh, that I know is cat owls and horned owls. And they take off. Okay. Okay, we should probably hurry because that's two of their fighter craft that we've beaten off so far. Uh huh. But they are probably going to tell that there are intruders. Especially one that ha that's wearing one of the local army's uh, uniforms. Otis? What? What is that? That, Master Getty, is... It's... I think I can guess which of them is the Dreadnoughts. Uh, 
And they've seen us. Ah! <laughs> We're all gonna die. Not yet, but it's reloading. Find cover quickly. D don't just wave at it, <laughs> Getty. It'll make it easier to see. <laughs> okay, yeah, that is an instant kill. That is heavy freaking artillery. Yeah, I think we used the wrong rocket to us cover. We need to use that one and the one in the... Back. Yeah. The lower one got hit more by accident. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to dodge fast enough to... Well, dodge this. So it is about half a second before it actually hits. If you can dodge that, I, I would definitely put, have put in an achievement for that. Yeah. Ah, crap. That was our next bit of cover. Bye-bye. Okay. That red alert. Well, they know that someone's inside. Otis, one of these doors should lead to the Dreadnought's engine. When you find it, we will help you destroy it. Let's see. We'll need to find one that's open, but I'm guessing this place is under lockdown now. Especially since it's at war. Or never mind. Okay, where are we? In the Dreadnought. Okay. Oh dear. The boiler room? Guys, look. Oh, oh I guess we found the engine. This is the Dreadnought's engine. We, we made it. We actually made it. Let's rig this thing up and... I'm on it. Okay, that'll work. All right, you guys, this thing is rigged to blow. Excellent work, Eddie. Now we should probably get out of... It. We did it! We stopped the pirates. Indeed, now let's... We saved Advent and all the people. We're the best team ever. True, true, but let's get moved. We're heroes, you guys. We... Uh-oh. Yeah. We're cooked, <laughs> is what we are. Oh my. Oh no, this is bad. This is really bad. Otis? Getty? We have to get out of here quickly. Oh. Don't fret, team. Leave this one to me. Yeah, we got we got knocked the hell out. Ow. Okay, yep. Keep an eye on the pipes. Whoa! Bonk! And he made a he made a perfect three point landing. The escape route is shot. What now? Yeah, another exit. But I won't be able to reach it. Otis! Otis! Otis, please get up! Master Otis, we need to escape. Come now, Master Otis. We'll need to get our urge and get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of this place before we are actually cooked. Yep. And no food to get around it. Let's get... Get away. Escape, please. I, I like that you can't actually control how fast the text goes because, well, shit's on fire. And it's not the character you're actually in control of. Huh. <laughs> we made it. It's just a question of time before the dreadnought sinks. Yeah. 
<laughs> you guys sure are made of something else. Even in a real tough spot, we seem to make That's a pretty it. good team. <laughs> Look at Oat. Oat his face. <laughs> After this, I will no longer find a place among pirates. Instead, I will find comfort among friends. True friends. But let's not linger here. Let's take to the skies. Master Otis, would you mind? Okay, quick, let's... Alphonse? <laughs> Why does this make sense? How else would these buffoons get through our defenses? You've been helping them all along. And here you all are. I'll finally be able to get revenge for your betrayal. Says the one who left him behind. Step back. He's all mine. I hoped that you would see sense. All this destruction, this chaos. Is this really what we were created for? Huh. I suppose we shall have to fight here. The captain? He's here? Molstrom? Master Otis, we must escape at once. Grab Master Getty and fly. I'll go on ahead. Come on, Otis, let's... Uh... Captain Molstrom, sir. What are you doing on deck? Get back to your posts. How do one, sir? Otis, get up. Oh, no. Otis! You have to fly away. I'll try to stall him. Yep. Fools. Come to see you, Capital Burn. We'll take a good look. Otis, no! The time has come at last. You will get to watch. Behold the destruction of Advent. Medicines and supplies quickly. Look for survivors. All right, take the food over there. We need more scaffolding for the tents. Lumber here. We need more water. Otis, you're awake. I'm so happy you're okay. You were all beaten up when I found you. Oh, this is all so horrible. Those poor people from Advent. We're taking as many refugees as we can. And luckily the owls from Advent are here as well. Strix and his students are doing a real good job. We're all doing what we can, but, well... As you is out by the lookout points, it's just... He's been there for days, and he doesn't speak to anyone. Maybe he'll talk to you, Otis? Would you mind checking up on him out there? At this rate, I worry he might end up leaving the village. Oh. 
And Kitty, he is um he's down by the the graveyard. I guess our village has one of those now. We've located it below the village down there. Oh, Otis. It's as if the village has lost all its color and brightness. I hope everything will turn out okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah. In the Battle of Our Advent, lost. By Molstrom's hand. Or anchor. My beautiful house in Advent is lost. My aviary and my paintings. Only I and Chirpy made it out. How are we doing on supplies? Um... This is all there is, Sir Strix. This is it? This village's supplies won't even last a week. Preposterous. Asu has done a lackluster job here at best. We need to start planning a long-term solution for all of our advanced race refugees. Comfort is secondary. Survival is top priority. Yes, sir. Is sadly a true thing for... Sometimes you have such sacrifice comfort for survivability. The professor's lab. How are you doing? Otis! Glad to see you're awake. Today's around here somewhere. Probably by the graveyard. Well, let's put a damper on his mood. Uh, hello. Dark. Don't do that again, please. I haven't slept properly since before the pirate attack. I wish I had a bed. I get the feeling they've been sleeping on this bench. Did you sleep like that last night? No. And not me, you slept standing, just that expression. <laughs> Hi, bro. My name is Pip. What's your name? Can't talk, huh? That's fine. I'll just call you bro. Albro. Nice to meet you, Albro. <laughs> uh, the professor. Confound it. I can't make sense of it. The only thing the pirates seem to have disturbed here in the valley is this ruin. Yep. They destroyed Advent in minutes. If only our plan had worked, the pirates would have been stopped. Daddy says the wind machinery was never even active. Then, how come the islands are still shifting? No matter. The pirate threat is far greater. I think we went by that thing and, yeah, they smashed it open. Oh, Solus. Clumsy as ever. This is too much. I can't believe it, Otis. Everything has gone wrong. I can't stay here in Valley. It's been nice to know you, Otis. Goodbye. I don't think we'll see each other again. Yes, some just can't stay to see it all. So many lives lost. I... I can't believe, th believe this happens. I was right there and I couldn't help. None of the things we accomplished mattered at all. We were doing so great and yet this is how it all turned out. 
We failed them. We failed them all. I miss this, Otis. I miss it so much. Even though we never got to fully experience Advent. It's streets, it's culture, the people. We never got to see how it all turned out. Notice. Did we try hard enough? I... I... I don't know if I can go back there, Otis. Do you think it makes any difference that we, you know, what we do from now on? Our future is lost. Our capital is completely gone. Think about it. The pirates destroyed Advent this easily? What are we to do? I... I don't feel like I belong in this village anymore. I've failed all of them. Is it okay if I stay at your place for a while? I need to get away from here. You can try your best, you can do your best, and sometimes even that will not be enough. Okay. Did they put the graveyard right next to Onus's house? Okay. And again, it looks to be the only place nearby that would have had enough room. Yeah, this game is heavy. Blocked off by the damn spider's web. Well, let's probably get chewed out by Asio, if not outright killed. To see you safe, little Otis. Heard you were very brave in Advent. Don't push yourself too hard. Hello. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they all feel very much the same, if not worse so, than Getty. It was their job to protect the city? They failed. A disaster. Advent destroyed. Pirates roaming free. And the professor comes and tells me that the ruin hold, you know, holding the relic was opened. If the pirates gather all the relics, then we are all doomed. And with Advent gone, we can't stop and stop them. Stop them? What? <laughs> Elvis? You're here, are you? Unless you've gone see uh, and see now and delusional, believe me, I don't want to see you here again. Yeah, of course, asshole, Psst. Master Otis. I must not be seen here, but we must talk. Let's meet up in your house. We can talk there in private. 
Okay. Apparently Alphonse is uh, rather stealthy for a girthy guy. Or girthy pirates. Hmm. Oh, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, I have to make sure that I don't miss any shipments. I'm grateful that I have been allowed to stay in Valley. We'll have to do our best to help the village grow. Strix? Ah, Otis. It is good to see you have come to. As you can see, we are trying to cope with the poor state your mentor has left this village in. We never allowed such incompetence in Advent. But fret not, little one. With our guidance, we may get your village up to snuff yet. <laughs> yeah, can definitely question his uh, teaching abilities, if nothing else. Yeah, and I knew he was up to some... But something going to be off with him. Either a clown or a prick, since he said he was going to make this a splitting image of himself. Splitting? <laughs> spitting image, I think you uh, mean. Spitting, I mean. I mean, spitting image. But you, you hear yourself. Yeah, that's not a good mindset to go at when training someone. Okay. Let's see. We can move a little bit faster by dodging around. And there must be some way into there since there's a buried chest. Yeah, I, th I think... This game doesn't really have big secrets, more like hidden areas where you can find more coins. Okay, yeah, this is really just a tiny little place. Uh, Master Otis, Master Getty. Forgive me for hiding in your house, Otis. It would do no good if the locals saw you fraternizing with a former pirate. Especially after what has happened. Advent is destroyed, and there is nothing we could do to stop it. Molstrom and the pirates, why would they do such a thing? Alphonse, is there something you're not telling us? Alphonse, if you know something, anything, that can aid us against Molstrom, it might help us prevent yet another attack on Valley. You are most certainly right, Master Getty. Molstrom. The pirates, and myself, we were all created by the owls. What? Your mentor is right, Otis. Molstrom is gathering ancient owl relics. And when he gets them all, he will be unstoppable. I will tell you what I know. No one knows what our original purpose was. Likely we were merely servants for the owls. Using our strength, the owls could reach for higher knowledge. They designed various models, each made for a specific function. We were expected to optimize. We would constantly improve our ability to carry out our function. But as you know, the ancient owls, and the remainder of their cities, all but vanished. Without our guidance, we, uh, we continued our task, finally, for centuries. Molstrom, greatest among the war units, rampaged. Built for war, he always needs something to destroy. None could oppose him. Those of us who didn't agree to follow him were exterminated. Molstrom took us to the sky and gave us a new name. Pirates. With him as our captain, we roamed the sky, growing ever more powerful. Until at last the captain heard of the relics. The relics are artifacts of terrible power, remnants of, an of the ancient owls at their peak. To Molstrom, their power is irresistible. Captain Molstrom has found two relics. One that was hidden in Valley, and the other in Advent.
Wait, so you're saying the pirates destroyed Advent just to get the relic? Yes, Master Getty. And now only one remains. If he gets the third and final relic, I'm afraid Molstrom will be unstoppable. Is there nothing we can do? There is, but I admit I am hesitant. My suggestion to try to stop the pirates in Advent put your lives in danger. Perhaps it would be best if we didn't try to meddle with the pirates anymore. The pirates are threatening Valley. We have to try and stop them. What happened in Advent wasn't your fault. I screwed up most of all. My sole duty was to protect us from pirates. It wasn't your sole you know, duty to carry. Everyone you know, was there, everyone helped, and everyone lost. If we don't find back against the pirates, I can't ever make things right. The pirates' next destination will be a ruin called the Floating Continent. An ancient owl structure there, the owls hit the last relic that Molstrom needs. We must leave Valley and fly high into Strato. That is where we will find the floating continents. And we should get to Strato now. It's the only way we can save Valley. I shall be in hiding here until you get out of the village. Alright, Otis. You ready? Let's go. And yeah, I think you can see another angle which, which this game may, really makes me think Rayman too, huh? Uh... uh... Uh, uh, I saw a bit of a glitch there. Okay, I must have missed it. It looked like Giddy had a kettle on his head. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I've even heard a, a bit of visual glitch that he accidentally switched place so that the kettle was in front of his face. Head, so it looked like his head was inside it. Okay, I'll have to look through the recording and clip that at some point. Speaking of, I should probably actually note down a time for that. Uh, there. Black pens and the black desk do not go together. Uh, let's see. 1, 12, something. 1, 12. Actually, get one that's brightly colored. Okay. Can we actually talk to the professor? We just listened in la last time. There must have been something inside this room that the pirates wanted. That stubborn old fool Ashio knows something, but he won't tell me. Could it have been some powerful old owl artifacts? Why won't Ashio just co cooperate? Okay. Yeah, if he knew there was something there, then... Yeah. Hmm. Birdman. Where's the other guy? Also not up for speaking much. Hello there. Two down, one more remains. And that cloaked figure was there as well. He, he, he almost looked like he's inspired by the King in Yellow or something. Owl in Yellow? Alright friends, this is Tropas. If we continue upward, we'll eventually raid Strato. I've never been that uh, high up before. Is it really safe, Alphonse? Not to worry, Master Getty. I've sailed the Strato skies plenty of times. There are no more dangers there than any other place we've been. All right. Welcome to Tropos, Buccaneary Shop, straight up. Yeah, Tropos, Strato, Troposphere, Stratosphere. Here. Oop. Illusphere. So, uh, yeah, we are quite high up. 
Hello, Buccaneary. Welcome! Let's tally up that booty. You've collected 832 Buccaneary coins. Would you look at that? Time for another surprise. This next one isn't just cool, it's also very nice. They're gonna just love it. <laughs> Give me a second here. Bergen! <laughs> Trinket time? Trinket time. Here you go. <laughs> it's Buccaneary's nice soup canteen. Wrap your, <laughs> wrap your beak hole around that and tell me what you think. Level up. Yes, no need to thank me. Just bring more booty. <laughs> yeah, another health extension. And I'm curious about this one. We'll have to find a bunch of coins to get it. But yeah, Buccaneery and uh, that guy over there reminds me a bit of uh, this guy uh, with the prinnies. I said it long time! Yeah. <laughs> It nine the pre-knees. Really, Hillian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Still plenty of these to find. <laughs> yeah, I, m I must have missed it then when you said it, or I'd forgotten about them. I think you remembered it on so unconsciously and repeated it for Roma's done it as well. Yeah. <laughs> Say, so, Otis, maybe we should get a little rest before we move on. Yeah, let's. I think Otis might could use a bit of rest after coming out of a, well, not a coma, but out of a, yeah, just being knocked out for like a week or something. Guys, I, I don't think I'll be able to get any sleep tonight. Advent is. We know how you feel, Master Getty. How about we talk about something else? You're right, Alphonse. I need to put my mind at ease. And there are some things I'm really curious about. I don't remember much about the relics' origin. I know that they are made that they are made by the ancient owls, and that they contain oh, pardon. Extraordinary power. As you've seen. I would guess that Dirk will be the one looking for the relic in the floating continents. That's the spider. Most of the other pirates are not independent enough for missions like these. They were not made to improvise. And the captain usually does not work uh, not, does not do work he considers beneath him. Of course. Good. If we see that guy again, I'll give him a piece of my mind. As you say. All right, anything else you want to talk about? Let's see, the floating continent. I've never been there before. Do you know anything about it, Alphonse? I was there long ago. I mean, months ago? Years ago? Hmm. I think it would have been about eight, maybe nine centuries ago. <laughs> you are freaking old. Centuries? You're that old, Alph Alphonse? Older. But the farther back I think, the less I remember. I remember hearing talk of a great machine built in the continents. A machine built by the owls, further back than I can recall. These days, the floating continent is half overgrown with plants and half submerged in lava. A terrifying, inhospitable place full of beasts and pitfalls. A good place for adventurers such as ourselves to prove our mettle. <laughs> at least he's looking at it positively. Um, yeah. Wait, hold on. Half submerged. That's levitating lava. Apparently, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Cloak weirdo. Who is this you're talking about, Master Getty? There was a strange guy outside the Owl Temple when we uh, when 
we got there, a small typo. He was reciting some book. Do you remember what he said? Let's see, he said... The Owl Temple... First of the Great Temples... Here the Owls learned how to control the elements and challenge the natural order. By the, by the end of the first Aeon, they had mastered water, fire and wind. And their work here revealed to them the existence of the higher mysteries. So says the Book of Nocte. Impressive recollection, Master Getty. Does it mean anything to you, Alphonse? I have heard of this Nocte long ago. I think perhaps I have read the book he speaks of. But it's strange. It ends very abruptly. I seem to recall that there was more about these higher mysteries. Anything else? Let's see. Oh, we can... Yeah, we can ask Alphonse about himself. Let's do that. I've actually never seen these bits. I think I've just flown past these uh, campsites when I originally played this. Tell you about myself. What do you want to know? I don't know. Anything? Well... I've always wanted to be a dramatic actor. I wanted to awe the world's finest from, from a stage. On their Maelstrom, I wasn't allowed to. But when we have saved the world from the pirate threat, I hope to uh, pursue that calling. Hmm, that's surprising. You were created as a servant for the Owls, weren't you? Were you made for acting? Combat was never my specialty. I much prefer acting and cooking. In fact, I was made to serve in whatever manner I, I thought best. Not all pirates were as fortunate as I. <laughs> Hello, Puma. Hello, Puma. Welcome and thank you for the raids. <laughs> How are you doing and what were you playing? Uh. Let's see. Uh, slide. No. Uh, let's see. S O Puma Oblivion. Uh, I think this command is still partially broken. Uh, yeah. I don't know how to feel it. Let's see. Okay, you were playing Starfield. I've I've heard a bit mixed on that, but I have heard in general that it is quite good, especially considering who made it and all that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I hope... Were you enjoying it? Uh, we're, we're playing Owlboy. And for any raiders who came along, I'm Hillian. Over there we have Urtakir. I'm a bit of a variety streamer. I typically play one game two times in the main week and then uh, some side games like today in the weekend. And yeah, this, what we're playing, is Owlboy. A nice little Metroidvania. It says, well, very impressive graphics as you can see. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm just grateful that I found a more worthy master to serve. One who works for good. Yeah, Alphonse here is a robot that was made possibly millennia ago. Like, he is nine cent... He is at the absolute least nine centuries old. Older than that, even. And, yeah, he is a... I wouldn't say a turncoat pirate, but he did turn away from the pirates that he was a part of. Let's see. Uh, it's not as bad as people think, not as buggy as older Bethesda games. Has Bethesda finally learned how to not make a buggy game? Hm. Well, if that isn't in the prophecy for the end of the world, uh, then I'm yeah, then I'm uh, <laughs> then I'm the Queen of England. <laughs> uh, yes, we know that they're gone. <laughs> yeah, maybe yes. not a good phrase. And also, just give me a moment. Uh, hey. They gave me quite a fright. <laughs> you jump scared Rick here. <laughs> Again! Uh, I think okay. they jump scared me before. I think that'll do it. So, yeah, let's go to sleep. Good idea, I'm bushed. Let's continue our journey tomorrow, shall we? We should get some rest. Well, yeah, like I said, this game is Owlboy, where we play, uh, well, the titular Owlboy, Otis, on the left. Where we can fly around, but we're not very good at combat, which is what do we have our allies for. We have Getty, and we have Alphonse. Getty Alphonse. uses a, a pistol. 
fire, can fire into the burst up to three times. Also single shots. And Alphonse. Oh, yeah. oh. accidentally. Uh, let's not. We've just been back. Yep. <laughs> okay, Angie Otis. Yeah, Alphonse here has a shotgun and also a lighter. That really a shotgun, no more like a hand cannon. Yeah. And yet, he can burn these away, so we can make progress up into the stratosphere. Okay. Nope. Yeah, I I really hope those little flashes are not too bad. Okay. Let's see, what have we here? Up, floating continent, down, tropos. Uh, yeah, th th this is a good little game. I have played it before, and... Oh, 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 oh. There we go, deal with the pests. Okay. And, uh, yeah, the... we're just back from, uh, well, the capital of this area getting practically nuked by uh, the main antagonist, Captain Molstrom, which is a short, which I'm pretty sure is a combination of Monster and Maelstrom. <laughs> Help, anyone. Yep. I'm totally stuck down here. It's one of these guys. Oh, happy day. Mister, are you here to save me? I've been stuck here for ages. I'm so hungry, I was, about to, I was just about my, to eat my own feet. <laughs> hey there, fella. Wow. Did you just get teleported? Um, yeah. <laughs> I did, actually. I guess I'm getting kind of used to it now. Wow. I wish I could teleport. I'd never be stuck again. Whoosh. <laughs> yeah, we have a button that teleports our allies to us. That's what it would sound like. <laughs> that's, um, that's, that's great. I'd even be able to teleport away from Buccaneer's punt. I mean, I'd be able to return to Buccaneer's right away. Yep. That's where I want to be. Okay, so should we help you out of here? Or... Yes, please. All right, Otis. You're the carrying expert around here. I'll leave this one to you. Bye bye, teleporting man. Where does he actually teleport to from that? <laughs> I said he notices the fruit in the trees here. Where, uh, where um, are we carrying him by? I'm hoping that his backpack. By his backpack, <laughs> yes. Wow, mister. Thank you so much. I can totally make it from here. I'll be hanging outside Buccaneries with my bros. Come visit us soon, why don't you? What are they supposed to be? Like, they look like a mix between a penguin and a kobold? I guess they are supposed to be sort of like that. Let's see. Floating continent, tropos. Okay. Yeah, we can get coins from stuff like these, and we don't need to buy things. We just get uh, we get rewards at Buccaneary Shop for uh, milestones in them. Every oh. two fifty of them, we get something. Oh, missed me. I mistook that up uh, wooden up arrow for a shirt. What's on where is that a shirt? We randomly appear. <laughs> okay. Well, you have some wooden arrow. What the heck? Uh, I still don't over here. I... It's hard to jump scare me. Like, I rarely... Like, it's extremely rare that I get jump scared from a game, like FNAF and such. Probably get more if I actually play them. But most... It's good... You mostly... I've uh, mostly been jump scared by boss in Valheim, because I finally know where you get jump scared by. 
But one of the things that really opens me up is that it's out of damn rain notification. <laughs> I could lower the sound if you want. Well, Steve is enough, someone screaming, surprise fool. <laughs> oh, hello. What's this? Hello. Hey, I wanted that. The Guardians and the Machines. I, a Gaulius of the Owls, made them all. With this token, you hold the key. Come to the sanctuary to see the glory of my accomplishment. And learn of this uh, mistake I have wrought. Okay. All right. Hmm. I don't remember finding any of those before. Hmm. Well, we'll have to keep an eye out for those. Especially since we don't have a map or anything. Hmm. I did... Ow. I did read that ow. This game got uh, re-released on the Switch. Or released on the Switch. Not sure which it is. It's exactly ow. And maybe that version is more upgraded. Like with a map or s and such. I was afraid they would do it, it, it for this one as well. Look, to not leave, leave it behind. Still managed to get the hit there. Oop, yep. I almost avoid falling in those, then I still get hit. Okay, these go a lot faster. Sony, it's like watching someone play Battletoads. <laughs> this area reminds me a lot of... Uh, there's this one area or areas in uh, one of the Donkey Kong Country games that is all about brambles everywhere. And you need to get through. <clears throat> 12 more coins for another upgrade, and it's the first of the mystery ones. Okay, that lower one managed to... <laughs> I only noticed it when it got close. It's sort of camouflaged. Hmm. Okay, nothing there. Okay, then we can go back. And we'll head up where we're supposed to go. I don't think the I don't think the role has any real inv invincibility frames. It's more about just moving fast out of the way of something. Better move fast? Hmm. Okay. Okay, uh, so that's why the rock jumped. <laughs> it's some sort of caterpillar thing. Or armadillo thing. Yep. Wait. Wait, well, okay, careful now. Uh, armored frogs. I mm -hmm. said earlier about Balto, that's a joke. <laughs> that they don't expect us to fight amphibians up here. What the heck? Yeah. Okay, buzzing things. Lots of buzzing things. Get me out of here up and what dead. in the name of all our toes? The heck? Aggressive is what they are. Okay, apparently we can destroy signs. That's really a bad idea. Okay, yeah, the shotgun is probably going to be best against those things. Let's see. As if it is a cannon, considering the muscle on that thing. Okay. 
Okay, some sort of pop spore thing. That seems to be immune to damage. Okay. I'm guessing we don't want to be touched by those. Okay, every time we hit it, we we break off another puff. Hmm. I don't know if this is heading forward or just sideways to maybe another token. But I'm curious all the same. One immediately, and there we go. Oh, we're already getting tired. May I soon stop waking up a half hour too early? Okay, so this is where we can stick these things. Okay. Did that open something up? Uh, wait, wait. Maybe you should need to interact with it again? Yep. Sorry, Getty. Let me pick you up. Hmm. Okay. That is definitely something new. Or new to me. Maybe not new to the game. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely have to keep an eye out for those things. Hmm. I'm pretty sure yeah. we've seen one before in the cave, I think. I don't know if those two goddamn shards. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to keep an eye out for side passages and such. So this game does have some sort of secrets. Burn it all away. Okay. I don't know if this game has... Oh, hello, you again. Scholar in yellow. The floating continents. Greatest of the owl homes. The machines produced here were the finest the world has ever seen. For the first time, all technologies surpassed the capabilities of life uh, itself. There seemed to be no end to the heights the owls could reach. So says the Book of Nocte. I wonder... If I had chosen the right path... Who are you? Was that an acquaintance of yours? Nope. He sure knows his owl history, though. And it seems that he's following us. If he's got anything to do with the attack of the Advent, I'll make him pay. Next time, let's grab him. Hmm. Well, we can certainly try. But our most important task is to get to that last relic before Molstrom does. Oh, is just looking like he swallowed a brick again. He was in the relic room Mol with Molstrom. It's one of the brick again? Okay, guys, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of dark caves, and I've heard meat eating gnats live in these parts. But it's the only way forward. I'll stand ready with my musket, Master Getty. It's not much, but it may provide us some light. Thanks, Alphonse. That will have to do. He called that a musket? Hmm. 
Okay, I think I remember some about this part. That being that, well, there's going to be a lot of... Uh, there's going to be a lot of darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Emperor's from Ow. sugar again. Oh wait, that's not the lyrics. Okay. At least there's those light berries, it seems. Or light fruits, whatever. Oh, uh, hello. Goodbye. Oh, they got both of them. Just as I passed, because I think there's none of them. They look mechanical. Okay, the, these must have been made by the owls as well, I'm guessing. They might be tunnel workers. I don't care all. Hmm. Prospecting robots of some kind, maybe? Minus even? Yeah. Bring a snack along as well. Come on. There we go. Hmm. Let's see, what's up with this place? Okay, they're quite fragile, actually. Ow. What the? Some sort of spider bots? Okay. They keep. Okay. okay, that one was better hidden because of the ringer. There's more. Okay, good. So this is here. This one also. Got that one. Yeah, just get rid of you immediately. I should probably make use of the auto lock on to get a look if something's hiding. I say as I get hit once again. Okay, a door, but it's locked. I think I remember there being one room in this area where I got stuck for quite a while. But I'm pretty sure it's not this one. Okay, that'll open the door, I'm guessing. Yep. Okay. Okay, I think it just started raining outside. No. Really? Okay, that was a bit of a dirty truck. Have it be blocked and hiding behind the foliage. Let it just pop up instantly. There's not even a, a reward. Never mind. There is a reward <laughs> to killing those. <laughs> oh, we've got enough for the next <laughs> reward. Oh, hello. The captain will be pleased when we bring him his relic. Hurry, now we let's skedaddle. All right. 
Whoa, what's going on? Uh, yeah, this one wasn't that easy to grab, it seems. Ugh, we must have rustled it somehow. I'm gonna get out of here before you screw up everything. Hey, wait up. Well, that totally can't be anything bad. At least they don't have it, so that's a plus. Just what I need. Yeah. Hello. Afternoon, sir. <laughs> Gentleman fish. Take, they don't take too many hits, but they're a nuisance. Yep. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I thought there was something hidden there. Oh, there's something hidden by it. I thought it was an enemy. Okay, more coins. Now we okay. need the buccaneer, the buccaneer stuffing shop, the podium, shop okay. wall, trinket store. Yeah, just buccaneer we shop, damn it. Here we go. Try, but the auto lock on found you. Okay, these things showed away. Wasn't I? Oh, uh, hello. What the heck? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that nest would have been spawning more of them if we hadn't dealt with it. Uh, well, there's another. Okay, at least they telegraphed their attacks quite heavily. Thank you for that mental image. Okay, the nest self-destructs when we've dealt with them. Uh, yep. Let me grab that. I think I saw a side path down here. Let's Ooh, go take a light. quick look. Ooh, that probably would have been a death. Yeah, they're going bad. Let's see. Okay, another one of those and some more rings. Hmm. Okay, now we can see it better here. Yep. Okay, luckily enough it didn't throw. Because pretty sure next time I hit the spikes is death. Okay, that does make it a lot easier to navigate. Okay. 
Nope. They stick to us like glue. Luckily that doesn't cause any fall damage, or damage if it falls on top of us. But I'm pretty sure those uh, boulders definitely will. So... Yep. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Yep. Oh, we can definitely use those. In our... Aren't all owls branches? Uh, yeah, but the owls of this world are more owl humanoids. So I'm guessing they're more <clears throat> omnivores. <clears throat> yeah, I do guess it. If they ever eat some fish in me, they probably will be cooked, otherwise, um, neither of you. There we go. Nope. Oh, hello. Okay, it seems that there is... Yeah. There is an advantage to... Well, there... there is a reward to doing combat in some areas, it seems. Hmm. I hope we haven't missed things in other areas, then. Okay. Bunch of rings, bunch of coins, since we get three for each. Hmm. So let's eat one. And bring with another. Ooh. Yep, come on. I was on you. And how will you click on stream timer? Alright, about 40 minutes. Probably planted to get out of this place. Twelve hours later. Oh, that was a bad idea. Yeah, we've we've kicked the uh, proverbial and literal hornet's nests. Yeah, you, you can see them moving around in there, trying to get out. Yep, still got hit. Trying for the. Uh, come on. Give me a shotgun. Okay, I. I need to. <laughs> I need to focus more on dodging. Though I will take cheap shots like that. Never mind. Right in the face. <laughs> okay, I do find it a bit annoying that we have to shoot, that we can't use the lighter separately, but I will. Oh no. I just had a mental image of something I hope I never see happen to someone. But he stabbed in the so nose cool. by a wasp. A wasp. You want to get a mosquito bite in the middle of your nose, Tip. I'm pretty sure that has happened to people. Yeah, but that, that, that just feels horrible. Like, especially in the moment where you feel like the mosquito was evil. And I see people getting some big ones from the, being bitten in the eyebrow and such. Okay. 
it's a bit hard to dodge when I need to move the... When I need to have my thumb on the control stick to try and shoot these things. I was able to... Have you almost been with the hard shift of trying to smash a fly or a mosquito at times? Okay, I need to try and get them with the shotgun as they're exiting. Then I can just get a bunch of them. Because once they start getting spread out, it becomes uh, quite difficult to dodge the fuckers. Shotgun. Wasp's gone. Just gotta keep moving. That's a that was going to be a fucking lot of them. But there we go. This must have been the first hive in the area or something. Oop. Okay, that smashed the, the torch, but there's light up here. Oh, oh hello. Hello. Hold on a sec. Is it attacking us or not? Nope. We can grab it. Okay, that'll learn these things out. And then they become living bombs. Okay. Do some birds. Of a kind. Hmm. Ah, they got a bit close. Yeah. Okay. Make sure these fools don't get through here. No problem. Okay, now we've got to deal with the spider. So why is this here? Probably for going back that way or something. So I see torch... And immediately it goes dark in here. Okay. Well, there's the answer. Oh, one of those things again. <laughs> what <laughs> just happened? <laughs> okay, they will follow us. But if they hit water, they get explosive. Hmm. They can break down that door, though. Uh, and a certain... Chemical that explodes with water? Uh, potassium and its family. And so, hello. And boom. Are these damn things rich in potassium? Uh, they don't oh. look like bananas to me. Oh, but, <laughs> okay, he just chucked up. And it also oh. gets a bunch of these. That's why he's wearing a helmet. Meh. Um, and we can't break it. We can't get through that armor. Okay, at least he doesn't throw any new hives. Anything hidden here? Hello. Okay. It still landed and it still counted as spawning these things. Oh, 
food here. Yep. Wait, did I get bounced from one thing in the other there? Okay, hit the head, and these things pop instantly. There we go. No clue what these things are. Probably more mining things. Oh, and if the... Okay, if the hole pops, then it means there's one of them coming through. And there's a reward. Hello. Pressure. Bonk. You got your bunk. One of those again. And another. Hey. Okay. Oh, wait, where, where did that thing go? So where did my health go? Because these things hit oh, like a truck. There we go. Okay. Wait, these aren't torches. These are lanterns. They're still lit. Good. Not lit. Activated. We need explosives for that. And we're almost at the next stage with Buccaneary. Ah. Okay, these things are explosive even when they're not lit. And that's... There's not enough time at all to get those things through water and then get to that. But we can use them to get rid of these uh, hard-headed jackasses. Hmm. Oop. Didn't see that one there. Okay, it does seem that the heads do take two shots or at least a bit more damage. Also, what biology ends up with creatures that look like oil lamps? <laughs> Again, you cowards. You absolute cowards. You'll pay for what you've done. Yep. <laughs> what crawled up green guy's butts? He seems real mad for some reason. Who cares? Just alert me the second they get through the door. I don't have time for any more distractions. I'll do. And uh, save. And we're about to run out uh, of time. <laughs> okay, let's go on the next save check yeah, next checkpoint then. Oop. Nope, oh, we need another but where did where the oh right. You go. You. Okay. Uh, leave you behind for a second. Grab this monkey lantern, bat, uh, bat thing. Suck it at you. Okay. And then we use another for the barricades. Come here, you. Okay. 
It's not too happy. Oh, hello. Okay. Oops. Okay, that just gets us back here. Hmm. Hold on a sec. If we go up... And we get back to this room. And now we do have one of these to chuck at this wall. Oh, uh, and, and just imme immediately get gunned down by these things. Uh, uh, jump. There we go. Yeah, you okay. see the checkpoint, by the way. Yeah, I I'm not sure it'll be good to load in on a checkpoint where we'll spawn right in front of a, sp a spidery uh, execution squad, a firing line. We got a starting with a bang. If I'm using the term on it correctly. These things pop like popcorn of a sort. I can't actually see what's going on with them. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, motherfucker. Give me that. Give me that. Okay, luckily only one sec. I was about to say one session of those things, but no. Only one wave. Really? Uh, I need to wear those bad things come from. Because I'm pretty sure that thing can just chuck those until he feels like stopping. Yep. Well, we'll get our checkpoint with this then. <laughs> Alright. Return to title screen. <clears throat> there we go. And yeah, that'll be all boy for today. So let's head on out. And we go look for someone to raid. Though not in the same way that the pirates raided Advent. Because I'm pretty sure people wouldn't like us if we'd left their channel in ruins. Yeah, that'd be pretty bad. No, let's take a look. Change window. Switch. Go live. And let's see. We have Reef the Leaf, who is playing Met... Met I almost said Metal Man, but... Mega Man Battle Network 2. Swall Bay is playing Under Rail. I think I've heard of that. Let me take a peek. Huh. Just... I know sort of this for myself. I think I heard of this a while back or something. Some sort of tough Fallout-like game. I think Seth made a review of this at some point. I'll have to look back. It looks a bit... Yeah, it is very Fallout-like from the looks of it. Uh, next up, we have Lashrus, who is playing Sonic Adventure DX, and apparently they just finished with uh, E10, uh, E102 Gamma's uh, story part. Uh, Jimmy McGinger is playing Super Mario Sunshine. Okay. Uh, WBPL is streaming Space Station 14, which is an updated version of Space Station 13. Ramyar is still playing Starfields. Then we have Halloween, who is playing Haunting Ground. Okay. And from the look of their, the outfit that the character is in, it's not the first time they've played through this. And then we have Touch Scaly Tail with Deep Rock Galactic. And... Okay. Why is the screen filled with plush? Yeah, there we go. That, that, must have been a, that must have been a redeem or something. <laughs> Possibly, yes. What the heck? And then there's little Karibo who is playing Phoenix Wright Dual Destiny again. It's not typically for them to be under the 100 viewers. Oh, yeah. Uh, who would you say to raid? I'm leaning towards Lashris or Swalbay. I'll let you pick between them for I'm way too sleepy. Okay, let's go with Lashris again. And, yeah, I, I really should put up a sticky note somewhere on uh, 
who I've rated recently. But yeah, let's just let's just go in general, not rate the same person twice in a row for now. And just from memory from there. So yeah, slash rate and paste. Uh, but before we go, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Puma, for the thank you, Puma, for the raids. Hope you enjoyed the show. And thank you as always, Rick here. You work as always, my friend. And yeah. Uh, let's see. Nothing tomorrow. I will likely be uh, I'll likely be having a chat with someone who is helping me find new work. Then Tuesday will be good for a stream of Dave the Diver. But that will also likely be when I'll be well, in touch with one of the potential job offers <clears throat> that I got through that new contact person. So yeah, for now, let's start the raids. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> unless I feel like doing an extra stream tomorrow, I'll see everyone uh, next time, hopefully on Tuesday with uh, more Dave the Diver. <clears throat> Yay! Well, yeah. Until then, though, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone. Have a lovely night. I'll go find a pillow. <laughs> I swear there's a hamster somewhere here. <laughs>